What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 195. There's levels to this. All right. I put up a video yesterday talking about how um, Xbox has higher quality games. And I got destroyed in that video. So I don't I don't have a problem being corrected. I don't have a problem being told I'm wrong. I don't have a problem with none of that stuff. I'm a human being, okay? And I understand that obviously I'm the one talking, so this is my opinion. And I appreciate you listening to my opinion. So I I want to explain that video from from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> This is what I mean by better quality. And maybe better quality is not the right word. Maybe I'll just put Xbox has the better games. Here's why. Better games to me. That seems to be, yeah, Xbox has better games to me and here's why. Okay, that's what I'll do. Okay, I'll make that the title so make people feel happy. When when I look at what I play on PlayStation, um, Horizon Forbidden West, Ratchet and Clank, God of War Ragnarok, God of War 2018. I beat that this generation as well. Um, when I look at those games, as great as those games may be, even though I didn't finish God of War Ragnarok, I haven't played my, uh, Spider-Man uh, 2 yet, but I can still see its greatness. Even though I haven't you know, beaten some of those games, and the ones that I've beat, I beat, and then I stopped. And I can see that greatness. That that's that's the issue. I beat those games and then I, I, I stopped. There was no incentive for me going back. And I'll be honest with you. If you are a a a trophy hunter, then you're playing that game again, not because you like it. You're playing it because you're trying to collect the trophies. There's a huge difference there. The dopamine hit that you're getting is not from playing the game. The dopamine hit that you're getting is from collecting the tr- collecting the trophies. And that's a huge different difference. When I look at my the games that I play on Xbox, I'm not chasing any achievements. None. If I get an achievement, cool, sure, whatever. But once I beat the game, when I replay it again, I'm not doing it to get more achievements. I'm not doing specific missions a specific way to get achievements. I'm the dopamine hit that I'm getting from replaying the game is because the game is that good. So when you see how many hours I have in a game like Forza Horizon 5, right? And if you compare how many hours I have compared to how many races I've actually done, I just enjoy literally just driving in that game. The dopamine hit I got from that was insane. When you see how many hours I have in Halo Infinite and the fact that Halo Infinite is the first game that I ever actually did side missions like on purpose. Like I actually wanted to save all the stranded Marines not to get an achievement because I actually enjoyed it and got a dopamine hit from playing the game. When I play the multiplayer, I'm not playing I don't even go, you know how you got the battle pass and tells you to do these challenges? I'm not even doing the challenges. The only thing I play is ranked because I enjoy the dopamine hit of actually playing the game. When I'm playing right now Starfield and I'm on its third uh, playthrough, I'm not playing it to get the achievements. I'm playing it because I actually enjoy the game. That's what I mean that Xbox, to me, has better games than PlayStation because as great as those as those stories were on PlayStation, like when I was playing the Uncharted and all that other stuff, I never wanted to go back and replay it. It's not that one and done is a problem. That's not what I'm saying. It's that one and done is a reality. It's that one and done is a reality. So when you're looking at the value proposition and maybe the quality was the wrong word to use, man. You could either get a game and play it for over 100 hours or you get a game and max, max you could play it for 20 hours unless you're forced to collect the trophies. You know what, what, you know what the challenge is? Would you still have the same number of hours in those games if there was no trophies? Only you can be honest. All those PlayStation games that you guys platinum and you guys are all, like, all about it, would you still have the same number of hours in those games if there was no trophies? 
all the games that I have played on Xbox that got a lot of hours, regardless. And and and, and here's the thing: I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna be fair with you. It's not every Xbox games. I play. I went through all the Gears of War, right? I didn't replay those again. I didn't. But when I'm looking at what games I do replay the most, yes. And then if you're going to say to me, well, Doc, that's not fair because Halo Infinite is a multiplayer game. Well, then that's Sony's fault that they don't have a first party multiplayer game. That's Sony's fault. That's Sony's fault that when it comes to someone replaying a game over and over again, the only way you do that on that console is with a third party game. That's what makes them vulnerable. Microsoft already has multiple multiplayer games that you can put hours into it. And right now, they have a single player game that you put lots of hours into it, which is Starfield. And if you don't want to play Starfield, they got um, uh, Skyrim, which is theirs as well. I mean, Fallout, which is theirs as well. I mean, it, the list is, is, is endless. And then Nintendo also has multiplayer games that you can play for hours as well. So maybe that's the better title of the video. Xbox has better games to me because when I pick up an Xbox game and I like it, oh, I'm going to play it for way longer than I've played a PlayStation game. It's not that one and done is bad. It's that one and done is a reality. Doc Dark 1985, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.